All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR. So we got a bit of breaking news this morning. PlayStation has announced that House Mark. I still want to, in my mind, I still want to say House Marquee, but it's House Mark. PlayStation has announced that House Mark is joining the PlayStation First Party Studio family. Uh, so Herman Holtz, the head of PlayStation Studios, put out a statement. Um, he says, today I'm thrilled to welcome a new member of the PlayStation Studios family. I have been a fan of Housemark since the studio's early days when they introduced Super Stardust HD to PlayStation fans. Housemark's recent release of Returnal proves the studio is one with incredible vision, capable of creating memorable new games that resonate with our community. Uh, this adds this addition enhances the creative force of PlayStation Studios, and I cannot wait to see what their future holds. House Mark holds for House Mark. Mark, uh, welcome to the family. House Mark, he says. Um, so House Mark has created uh, a bunch of different games um, in the last. Well, they've been a studio since 1996. Um, some games that people. Uh, are familiar with, of course, most recently, as I said, Returnal, Matterfall, Next Machina, uh, Rezogun, Alienation, Dead Nation, Super Stardust HD. Uh, yeah. The, and the only thing about Housemark, right, um, I, is that they've clearly been limited um, in a budget wise, right, in the type of games that they've been able to create. Uh, usually over time, you know, as a as a studio grows and it's and it's been in existence, you know, the, you see the you see the gradual growth and evolution in the type of games they make. But the growth for Housemark has kind of been slower than than most studios because even though a good number of their games have been successful, they and even though these games don't require a huge budget, they haven't been necessarily making a lot of money from those games either. I forgot. I believe there was an article which uh, they they themselves stated that yeah, even though these games aren't you know necessarily triple A uh, you know blockbuster type games that require a, a huge amount of uh, you know truckloads of money, but at the same time they weren't necessarily. Uh, you know, getting a lot of profit back from them either, even though these are these games are uh, fairly well reviewed and, you know, Housemark um, is viewed pretty well, uh, you know, from the con uh, pretty well from the view uh, of the uh, consumer. And I think this is a good acquisition for PlayStation because Housemark um, is a studio that offers them something different. And that's what PlayStation wants is they always look for studios that can do something different and offer them something different adds to the variety uh, that the other PlayStation first party studios may not be doing. So they always look for a good fit. And when you look at the type of games that um, Housemark has made, you, can, you could definitely see how they can offer something um, to the PlayStation consumer that the other you know, first party uh, studios aren't and whatever they make will, will definitely be elevated now because Returnal of course it, it had its problems right um, Returnal definitely had its problems nobody uh, denies that um, you know and you know House Mark, Mark uh, they you know they completely you know accepted that and you know fixed the game within a within a week or two um, but the game was was pretty good you know I, I felt it was pretty good it was pretty solid um and this and even though you know this was a, a game that playstation obviously helped them with uh financially you can see that they have their their potential can really be reached now that they have the backing and the resources and the security from playstation so i think this is a a definitely a a good pickup um because yes one of the criticisms of a lot of the first part party uh sony um studios is you know the over the shoulder cinematic uh you know cinematic action adventure game you know what people call the template now even though these games are critically acclaimed i mean above you know they're usually always in the high 80s you know the low 90s you know every you know consumers love them critics love them there is that i guess that argument to be made that um even though 
gameplay wise these even though they're third person cinematic games all of them are very different but optically you know shout out to my boy uh, gaming with persona and jay bari the optics you know you can make the argument that the optics kind of make the a lot of the sony uh playstation first party games uh fit into the, the fit into the same boat so that's really all about optics and um you know how smart definitely uh, offers uh, something different in that uh, in in that realm. So yeah, I think this is a good pickup. I mean, they, I, I you know, I thought it was pretty obvious that they they were gonna ha buy House Mark um, eventually, sooner rather than later, because PlayStation is very obvious in in the way that they acquire studios. They flirt with them for like ten years, and they say, oh, come on, we we like you. Um, We'll, we'll we'll buy you now, and this is a good time to buy buy House Mark because we can, we all can accept that PlayStation doesn't have the money that Microsoft does, and that's okay because they still put out better better games. I'm I'm just calling a spade a spade, right? We know they don't have the money that that Microsoft does because Microsoft, you know, is is a lot more than you know a just a you know a hardware or gaming hardware and, and software maker place uh, sony also is too but they heavily rely on their gaming division um microsoft could literally shut down xbox and they would completely be fine because they make so many other products you know uh you know windows and, and all that stuff so many other things that 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 are really their money maker xbox is obviously uh gaming the gaming sector and division is not their money maker um so yeah we we know they don't have you know the the bank that that Microsoft does, so that's why you know they try to uh, find talent early, work with this talent very early, work with this talent for a long time, uh, div uh, you know co uh, cultivate a, a relationship, a close relationship with them, and and then they're like, yeah, we're ready to acquire you. You know, we have this great relationship with you. It'll benefit you. It'll benefit us. It's a mutual. You know, it, it, it's serendipitous. It's this mutual relationship. It'll ben you know benefit everybody. And then they purchase them after like ten years. They do this with like almost all the studios that that they acquire. So we can almost look at this uh, pattern and figure like any and figure out all the other studios that they're gonna buy eventually. I mean, Blue Point is 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 next. Blue Point is obviously next. Has Blue Point even ever released a game that wasn't a PlayStation ex exclusive? Their relationship with Blue Point is is so tight. You can I, I'm almost willing to bet that Sony will announce an, an acquisition for Blue Point within the next two years. I don't, especially I don't know what Blue Point is work what what's what's the next game Blue Point is working on. But if the next game that Blue Point Games is working on is a PlayStation exclusive. They're absolutely getting bought by PlayStation. You know, I, I said that PlayStation would acquire Housemark after I said it would be they would acquire them depending on how Returnal performed. Um, and sales wise, it seemed to do good. And, um, you know, critically, uh, even though it had its problems, it, it still reviewed well. Uh, but this was obviously something that they had to they they probably had set in motion for a while because as acquiring a studio, as far as I know, is not necessarily a, a fast process so yeah it had to um it had to take a while so this is probably something that they set in motion and uh and then Re returnal the release of returnal just solidified it but uh looking at um blue point games i'm going on a tangent here a little bit um they were founded back in like uh 2000 well their first game was in 2006 something called blast factor they worked on the god of war collection the ego and shadow of colossus collection metal gear hd collection that was on um uh, xbox 360 though um playstation all-stars battle royale uh flower they did do t the titanfall um xbox 360 port because the you know uh the actual developer of titanfall respawn they didn't do that that titanfall port um they did the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, Gravity Rush Remastered, Shadow. So pretty much their their whole history, besides two games, has been PlayStation um, remasters or, or or ports. It's pretty much working with PlayStation, and it's and it's been over like a decade now. So Blue Point is next, absolutely. It's gonna happen if you if you follow the pattern um, of how Sony acquires studios, right? And you know. 
Um, I don't think I don't think it was stated how much they purchased House Mark for, but it, it. I mean, we 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 weren't we we know it wasn't more than Insomniac, and we saw how much they spent on Insomniac. They got they got an Insomniac was a huge value to PlayStation for what they paid for them. I mean, they released like two first party games in in the span of like six seven months. So that they were a huge value value. I'm sure you know House Marquee with House Mark, they're gonna get a bang for their buck. This is this is a definitely a um, a good purchase all around. Um, it's obviously I know people are automatically gonna compare it to the but the Microsoft Bethesda deal, but like I said, we know PlayStation wasn't gonna do something on the level of micro of Microsoft and Bethesda, and they can't, right? They I mean they could do something close to that but not necessarily that exact same level but they don't have to you know that's people as soon as people saw microsoft and xbox you know i mean uh, uh microsoft purchase but that's they like oh sony gotta match that they don't like everything does not have to be a, a match for match you you don't have to follow suit you have to move strategically it's chess not checkers um so i think this is definitely a smart move this is this is a definitely a a big pickup um, I don't know the exact amount. Uh, what what play? What is PlayStation Studios at now? What's their number? Um, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Um, I know it's like in the in the teens, in the mid teens somewhere. Um, and if listen honestly, if Sony could have all their well, not maybe not all their studios, but a lot of their studios uh, perform like Insomniac does, where they're split into two teams. And like these studios are are all working on at least like two games at a time, then you know that can comp that could compensate for a lot. That can compensate for you know the the lack of uh, number of the lack of number of studios that you do have, and that does seem to be the case. Naughty Dog is definitely working on two games at a time. They've been doing that for a while. Insomniac, uh, um, Guerrilla Games is rumored to be working on multiple projects. So a lot of these studios can can work on. Um, multiple projects same thing with with sucker punch they seem to be working on multiple multiple things um so yeah it's uh it's i you know personally i think the play the playstation the state of playstation first party studios is in a um is in a good place this is this is a good pickup uh it benefits like i said it benefits house mark and, and playstation it's uh you know it's a good move for them definitely a good move um so yeah let me know what y'all think about this uh you know house mark is a f finnish uh developer and you know like i said they've been collaborating uh for a long time um the by the way the uh the head of house mark um i'm gonna butcher his name so i'm not even gonna attempt it but he put out a statement also you know he said this is a big day for house mark you know they're happy about this they 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 needed this they they really needed this because um whatever their next game is it, it's gonna it's really gonna take them to the next level you know because they're one of the studios that like listen if you could throw some actual money at these dudes and it would increase their their you know their production level um and their production value like tenfold so yeah good thing for uh definitely a good thing for house mark um let me know what y'all think about this hit the like button uh hit the Hit that notification bell so you can know anytime I upload, even though it's rare nowadays. But um, um, you know, that's gonna change in about a month. In about a month, so you you know, yeah, y'all know what's going on. I got a whole bunch of boxes. I know y'all can't see them, but I got a whole bunch of boxes uh, back there. You know, almost ready to get out of here. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this purchase. Uh, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.